What's up guys, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by for another unboxing showcase review. We have today a Ben Presto Grandista statue. This is from Demon Slayer. This here we have Zenitsu. Uh, what a funny character for the Demon Slayer anime. I am so happy to have this figure. Um, I do have the other grandista statue of of uh oh my god i lost my train of thought of um tanjiro but uh i haven't i haven't opened it yet so i just figured i'd start out with zenitsu but we're gonna take a look unbox it see what it's all about as you know with ben presto statues we have quite the larger scale in the grandista line so i'm actually happy about that i like the larger statue so we're going to take a look see what it's all about if you guys have watched my videos before um we're going to just take a look and see what everything is inside the box but right now we got the front of the box here's the side of the box showing you a more zoomed out um image of what zenitsu looks like a more closer up uh image of of the figure as well and then on the other side same exact thing there is no other versions of this we have the bottom of the box as you see here in which case we will take a look now if you've seen my videos before you will know that it's either cardboard or a plastic and in this case we have a plastic encasing and in some cases you may have to build the statue but we're going to find out if we have to build anything for zenitsu here so let's take out if i can get a hold of it take out the plastic and see what we got going on in here the oh there we go so there's the bottom of it right there let's we do have some plastic oh and some bubble wrap too so what's remaining is probably the foot peg which i think is at the very top we just have to grab that out of there yep there it is so let's take that and see what we got going on looks like he's already put together so this will be a fairly quick video but let's see what we have to do it is a oh it's a sealed bag all right so let's cut that open see what we got All right, guys, I cut open the bag, bags. Um, so we have the stand here. I didn't cut this open just so you guys can experience it for yourselves as well. Um, there is a bubble wrap around the arms, uh, most likely to protect any type of rubbing that could possibly occur or looseness if it were inside the box. But we will carefully cut the tape that's wrapped around and there we have it so nothing else it doesn't seem like anything is going to fall out um everything is glued on so let's get the stand on his foot so you just want to find the correct the correct lineup which i feel like it could be this foot in here and you're just going to probably slide it or snap it into place there's a lot of times where i feel like i'm gonna break it to be honest because these foot stands since they don't come with instructions you never know if you're putting it on the right foot and god forbid if you have any paint rub so those are always the drawbacks that you got to be careful with but it was a simple slide in so i didn't feel any type of resistance so there you have that so we got that going on let's put him on the the rotating base just so we could you know get a better look all right, guys, there you have it. There is Zenitsu perfectly standing upright using the, the foot peg stand. Honestly, I don't think I really need to use the stand that comes with them. So it'll vary depending upon where I place them. It's just because, you know, you need to make sure you have room on your shelf. That's not going to get in the way. But very, very stoic, very simple pose that they have of zenitsu and i think that's with that with all the other um ben presto grandista demon slayer statues they're just in a simple simple standing pose i'm perfectly fine with that as much as i would like some more dynamicism in the poses 
Uh, because of these larger ones, you don't get to see that many with the dynamic poses. So I'm still okay with it. I love having the actual character in the collection. So let's take a look at paint and sculpt to see what we have going on. There are very nice tempo in regards to his his clothing. It's it's incredible how you know it's applied. But the paint itself, the paint itself doesn't seem like it has any issues throughout the entire statue. Uh, I'm surprised that there's there's not any paint rub. There are some paint scratches of of some kinds. They're very minimal, but it it did it did occur. So let's just take a closer look. I mean, we have here with with his feet, we have these like. I guess a stocking type sock material. I don't know what to call it back in the, I think it was the Edo period during this time frame. Uh, but they're still done very well. They got the white bows going on. Uh, you could tell with the sculpt, it was just a paint application, but the bows are there. But you could see the stress lines within the, within the clothing where it's being tied up. So it works there. Uh, you can see in his feet, the it was basically an all brown color because then the white was applied for the paint. So still okay. It's it's not, there's not much bleed, but you still see the brown within the white. That's the only drawback to it. Uh, the, the body or the, his uniform itself is like that brown color. Uh, not so bad. It's still, there's no like depth to it. I mean, the, the, the stress line in the clothing add the depth to it, but there's no other colors that will allow, like maybe some black washing that would have helped or some shading that would have helped better. Uh, but they did paint the belt, especially the buckle and even the buttons. The buttons have this kind of like pearlescent purple. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, and his uh, robe looks really nice because they got the white on the inside and then the white triangles and then like the orange into the yellow fade that looks great they did a great job with that so that looks actually very very nice uh where i talked about the the like the paint rub you can see there's some paint rub here and some here and which is funny because that's where this was wrapped around it so ah uh, who knows why or how that could have happened. It probably happened before they even applied the, the, the bubble wrap to it. So even so, it's on the back of it. It's very small. I, I'm still, it's not that big of a deal. His sword, very well painted. It's got like a, a gold reflective paint on there. The silver looks very nice, including the white. The hilt looks good as well. So it is glued all the way down it's nicely applied so everything looks great right there and then when it comes to his face face looks great i love the way they use the 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 paint tempo for the eyes so very very well done even in the hair the hair is a great sculpt i wish the paint on the the darker orange was done a little bit darker i feel it should have been done darker plus it didn't meet all the way you can see how the yellow um, or the orange really didn't apply very well into the paint so all right guys let's do some comparisons uh and we're going to mainly use grandista since this is a grandista statue but you will see in regards to who i have so when it comes to grandista statues let's start off with a dragon ball z character so here is Oh my goodness, there is Gogeta, because you don't want to stand properly, do you? So there's Gogeta. There you go. Uh, look, he's completely out of the screen, of course. So if I did retract back a bit, you can see the height difference between the two. Which is actually pretty good when it comes to Grandista, considering the fact that uh, he's much older than than Zenitsu right there. Then here is Gohan. 
that's not too bad of a scale in height. There you go. And wouldn't it be fitting, here we have Nami from One Piece. And here I actually have Nezuko, but she is from the Glitter and Glamours line. So she's definitely much more petite, but it technically works out in, in the scale. And last here we have Tanjiro. Tanjiro looks great with Zenitsu right there. So I'm glad that this line is actually keeping up with its scale um, and just more of like a, a more stoic pose. So it actually works out very, very nicely. Sculpts are great. I think it, it compares very, very well. So there you have it, guys. There we have Zenitsu from Ben Presto's Grandista line. Definitely love the character. Definitely love how this one looks. Yes, it's a bit more stoic for my taste. I definitely like my more dynamic poses. But with the Grandista line, I will take it because I love the scale of these of, of the characters that they make. So I am all in with collecting this uh, with the Grandista line. But let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you in regards to Demon, Demon Slayer. Uh, and the characters that they're trying to put out here. So I hope you guys like the video. I know it's a pretty short one, but thank you guys so much for joining. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I hope to hear from you guys soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.